Hey everybody, welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, please click on that subscribe button below and hit that alarm bell so that way you can get a feed of the new content that I put out each week. Today I'm on the beautiful six hole here at Travis Point Country Club and we are talking about smashing your fairway woods. I hear players say every single day that they hit their fairway woods and hybrids pretty good off the tee, but when they hit them off the ground, they have a bunch of trouble getting the ball in the air and hitting it solid. We're gonna talk about the couple of keys that can help all of you smash your fairway woods so that way you can score your best. The first challenge that most players have in hitting the ball off the ground, which allows them to hit the ball very well off the tee, is that players tend to swing up on the golf ball. Just like the driver that's teed up a couple inches into the air, the fairway woods that are teed up allows us this nice upward swinging strike that helps us launch the ball into the air and make really solid contact. The problem with hitting the ball right off the ground is that we do not have that cushion of the tee to help us get right into the center of the club face. So a lot of players will come into impact and they're working backwards and the club is swinging up hitting the ball on the top, rolling the ball, or hitting thin shots or top shots. Oftentimes, I'll see players, like their driver, get their body tilted back like they're trying to launch the ball up into the air. This too will create an early ascension to the arc, and as, these, as the arc ascends early, I'm gonna hit the middle to top part of the golf ball more often than not. The best players in the world will still strike down into the ground. And that downward strike, like we have with our irons, helps these fairway woods and hybrids perform their best. So a couple of the key things that everyone can do to strike the fairway woods and hybrids their best starts with their setup like every other shot. A common fault I see with a lot of players is that they'll put the ball too far forward in their stance. When the ball is too far forward and I bottom out more near the middle of my stance, then the club is now on its way up as it approaches the golf ball, again, creating really poor striking tendencies and a massive loss of power and launching force. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna play this golf ball just a little left of center. And I, as you can see on the camera here, I have this ball right underneath my heart ultimately. So it's kind of just between my left ear and my left eye. By having that ball more close to center, I am now allowing the golf ball to be struck more at the bottom of the arc and not at the part of the arc where it's starting to ascend and swing up onto the golf ball. What I see so many players do is they create a lot of shoulder tilt like they do with their driver to try to help launch this ball up into the air. The problem with applying too much shoulder tilt is that the bottom of the arc ends up being further back, which creates a more ascending attack angle into the golf ball. For the driver, that's optimum. For the fairway woods, when we have to hit down into the ground, we really have to stay much more level. So one of the things that we can do at address is to make sure that our shoulders are parallel to the ground, much like they are on every other shot that we hit with an iron, for example. If we start to create too much tilt this way, the arc becomes a little bit too early into the ground. And by the time we get to the golf ball, we're in the top half of that golf ball. So we can feel our spine angle is gonna be perpendicular. Our shoulders are gonna be nice and parallel. And if doing that doesn't quite give you enough downward strike into the ground, then there's one more tip that I have for you to help get that downward strike. And it's gonna be about the pressure you have into the ground with your feet. Most every shot, we try to be balanced 50-50 between our right and our left foot. When players have a hard time striking down on it, it's usually because they're going up or backwards and they're taking the pressure off of their lead foot. So what I advocate for many of my players is feel like you've got 55 or 60% of your weight in the left foot instead of the perfect 50-50 balance. So if I put a little bit more pressure into my lead foot, and it doesn't take much, a little bit extra pressure in my lead foot is gonna create much more downward striking force than if we were balanced and certainly if we were working back towards our right foot. 
So in summary, our perfect setup is gonna be one where the ball position is gonna be just left of center. My shoulders are gonna be parallel to the ground. My spine angle is gonna be perpendicular to the ground. And I'm gonna be balanced 50-50, both inside my right and my left arch. If that approach doesn't quite give me the downward strike that I need to, I'm gonna put a couple extra percentage points of pressure in my lead foot to really help get that club working down back into the ground. I think if you try each one of these key points, you too will be able to smash your fairway woods and hybrids off the ground and play your best golf. Thanks again for tuning in today, everybody. I hope my tips on striking your fairway woods and hybrids will help your game. And as always, if there's anything I can do to help you, please comment below so that way I can address your questions and help you with the things that will fix your game the best. I appreciate you all tuning in today. We will see you next week.